In today's show, we're going to learn more about the girls wrestling team and some of the students' and staff's reactions to the Super Bowl. Plus, Battle of the Bands is tonight. Hey Vikes, I'm Carly. And I'm Cadence, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Here's your announcements for today. Battle of the Bands is tonight. Here's Autumn with more. Hey Vikes, Battle of the Bands is tonight, and I'm here with Mr. Brock to tell us some more information. Uh, well, Battle of the Bands is tonight. The doors open at 6 o'clock. The show starts at 6.30. The Untamed Mustangs will go first at 6.30, so be there. Uh, followed by Dragon Shredders, then we'll have Crybaby Green Beans, No Toe, and Right Side Down. Um, some great bands playing tonight. Okay, is there anything else you would like to add? Um, if you're going to come out tonight, just be sure to have fun. Um, we do like to pe see people standing um, and clapping and having a good time. Um, be sure to encourage the bands. Um, the Untamed Mustangs do not welcome people to throw stuff at us, no matter how badly it goes. Okay, thank you. Vikes, make sure to go check out your favorite SHS bands tonight. Back to your anchors. Get your tickets today at lunch for $3 or at the door for 5 Doors open at 6 and the show starts at 6.30. There's a couple of groups having meetings today. SAD is tomorrow in E8. Mrs. Martinez is having one for Spanish 2 and 3 in W20 today. Seniors need to stop by the counselor's office to make sure their name is correct on their diploma and let them know if you received a scholarship. Also, the tech department wants you to update your operating system. If you don't, they will confiscate your laptop. After the break, we will go to Carly with the sports. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. February 20th. Blast off. With the Battle of the Bands. One night only. Sweet intergalactic rock and roll. Knock you out of your orbital rotation. Featuring all of your favorite bands. Live in the Seaman High School Auditorium. Untamed Mustangs. Cry Baby Green Beans. Dragon Shredders. No Toe. Right Side Down. Tickets on sale during all lunches beginning February 12th. $3 in advance. $5 at the door. We'll sell you the seat. But you won't need it. Because you'll be floating in zero Gs. All night, night long. long. Proceeds benefit the SHS Thirst Project. This is the first season of girls wrestling. Here's how it went. The boys wrestling team has had a very good season so far. At the Centennial League competition, Seaman placed fourth overall. On February 28th to the 29th, the boys will be competing in the state tournament at Park City. However, our girls team is non-existent. Let's find out how girls can join, when you should join, and why you should join. When would you like to create a team? Next year. I wish it was this year. I wish we had an arsenal of like 30 girls on our team. but. Uh, we didn't get the word out fast enough. We didn't get enough uh, people coming out, but definitely next year. So I'll, we're calling on freshmen, sophomores, juniors, middle schoolers. Yeah, come up and join the wrestling team. I really just want to see like what girls can actually do when they have like their own wrestling team and like separate from the boys, I guess. Honestly, I just didn't want to like be with just the boys. I don't want to go into it like not knowing anything. Who should try out? Everybody. Ever, I don't care if you're small, I don't care if you don't think you'll be good. No one's good when you first start something. I know it's a scary sport to get involved in, but the best thing is just to throw yourself in it, listen to the coaches, and it could be a great opportunity for people that uh, really want to try something new. And who, what better way to uh, start than now? So everybody come out next year. Girls, if you are interested in wrestling next year, talk to Coach Elliott or Coach Kelly. For more information, talk to Coach Elliott or Coach Kelly. Today, there will, be, there will be a boys' golf meeting in E1 during activity period if you are interested in trying out. Seniors, winter sports sheets are due now. Turn them into the athletic office. Friday, there is a game at Emporia. The theme is Hawaiian. Also on Friday, Skylar Price is signing to play soccer at Ottawa University. Now on to Cadence with the weather. As you may have noticed when you walked into school this morning, it was cold. 
It's still going to remain cold today, but the next three days it's going to start to warm up. Enjoy your weather on Saturday. I can't wait for the warm weather on Saturday. Ethan caught up with students and staff to hear their reactions about the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl was just a little bit ago. Let's see what people's thoughts are on the halftime show and the ads. I really enjoyed the halftime show. To me, some people say it was like too risque. Honestly, it was one of the better ones that I've ever seen. It was hot and it was fast paced. Halftime show was pretty enjoyable. Music was good, dancing was good, you know, the whole nine yards. What I loved about the halftime show was all of it. It was so amazing. Um, I loved that Shakira and J-Lo um, defined all kinds of stereotypes and odds talking about sexuality and gender and age like and motherhood. I love that it was one giant party for Latino women and the Latina culture. I love that they just went up there and gave it their all and showed off how athletic they are and how strong they are and just defied all these odds that no one thinks that they'd be able to do. The favorite ad uh, that I watched, the favorite commercial was probably the Jeep Groundhog Day one. That was pretty funny. I, I got to crack out that one. That was a good one. My favorite ad was uh, the Sam Elliott Dorito commercial. It was hilarious. Oh, the worst ad was probably the Google one. It made me pretty sad. It was just kind of like, mm. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really want to be in a sad mood. The tax one where they were like, the everybody is tax people. That was probably the most annoying. I really didn't celebrate the win because I didn't want the Chiefs to win. Overall, I just kind of just went to bed, said Jeez. whatever. People's opinions on the halftime show were interesting, and there were some pretty good ads. Now, back to your anchors. Sounds like lots of people were super happy with this major win. That's all for today, Vikes. Have a great day.